And finally, a lot of you guys may know about negative testing is you can check to see whether the web services can handle invalid values. So for example, come back here. So we know that this is expecting an IP address. But what happens if I don't give it an IP address but a string of random characters? Will the backend crash or will the web service give me a proper response? Let's see what happens. This is negative testing. You guys can do same thing as you do with your GUI tests. This is just a simple interaction with web services. One second compilation error. Okay, let's see if it's fixed. Run. Yes. Compiling. You guys see that down here. Compilation finished successfully. It's going to run. Now we can see the results. Let's expand and check out what we got here. So check it out. The SOAP request. This is what we sent is these values and what we got back is invalid IP address. That's awesome. That's exactly how the web service should function, right? Because it's expecting an IP address and it got the string of random characters. Then of course, you know, you can throw in a whole bunch more characters. You can try different kinds of combinations, boundary testing, whatever, and make sure that your web service is responding accordingly.